Hey guys, Camero here. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up a basic stream in Open Broadcast Software, or OBS. So, the first thing that you want to do is go to the OBS or OBSproject.com. You want to go to their website and download OBS Classic. I don't know a whole lot about OBS Studio, but this tutorial is going to be about OBS Classic. So after you've downloaded that and you run it, what you're going to see is this. This is OBS. The way OBS works is there are scenes and there are sources. Every scene is composed of multiple sources. So what I'm going to do is make a new scene first and we can just call this test scene. And now that we have our new scene, let's preview it. See right now it's nothingness because we haven't added any sources. So let's right click and do add and let's add a video capture device. That's how we add our webcam. So I'll just call this webcam. Then what you want to do is in your device list you want to go and you want to select your webcam whichever your webcam is. And now if you preview it there's me! Okay, cool. So this is really big and this takes up the entire frame. So, let's do edit scene. And what you can do is after you click edit scene, there will be red boxes and red lines around the scene that you've chosen to capture. So what you want to do, while I look, I'm going to look at the webcam while it is, is you can resize it and left click. And I'm going to make my webcam pretty small. But there's a lot of space over here. What I'm going to do is hold alt and when you hold alt you can actually crop a scene and then if you want you can also hold shift to stretch a scene that's not as useful though but if you let go of shift and move it again it'll re it'll retain its resolution proper so i'm going to crop this a little bit blah 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 cool so there's me in the corner this is a super basic stream right now super basic but, you know, the most important thing, let's add gameplay. So I'm going to go to a window capture, and I already have a video game running. Um, this will be different depending on every video game you choose, but I am going to go and select my window capture. This is Project 64, an emulator running Banjo-Kazooie, and you can choose lots of different settings. You can mess around with these settings a whole bunch, but right now I'm just going to turn off capture mouse cursor so that the mouse cursor doesn't show up, and I'm not going to mess with any other settings because this is just a super basic stream. See, right now, like, this is super basic. But right, see, the, the game is on top of my webcam, but I want, let's make it so that way the webcam is on top of the game. What you can do is right click on your webcam source, and then you can actually go to order and move up, or you can just hold control and press up on the arrow key. If you have a lot of sources, holding control and arrow keying around to change the layers is super helpful. So there we go, my webcam is on top of my game. This looks really bad right now. I'm gonna make it a little prettier. Let's add an image. I already made an overlay image. It has transparencies and sizes and everything already all cut out. So let's add that. And it's a little big, so I'm gonna need to resize it. But since we have edit scene, it's gonna be no problem to resize it. So boom. This is super basic. Let's make the webcam fit. If it fits, it sits. There we go. So this overlay is on the top layer, and then underneath it is the webcam, and then the gameplay. So this is a super basic stream. This is already super basic. Like, this is basic, but like you could add more stuff in this black box here. You could do anything you want. But once you have your gameplay, once you have webcam, once you have everything that you want, you're going to want to stream it. You want to put it on the internet. So in order to do that, what you need to do is first make sure that you have your stream key and when the way that you can do that is you can go right now I made a, a just a dummy channel for this video but you want to go to your channel which is in this case Thundog Alive slash dashboard there are other ways to reach your dashboard but this is a super easy way to do it and you need what is called a stream key every twitch channel has their own unique stream key and I highly recommend you don't share this with anybody because if somebody else gets your stream key they can stream on your channel, which you don't want. You want to be in control there. See, look, Twitch is even giving you uh, me a warning, saying, "Hey, don't share that stream key." So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show, I'm going to, I'm going to get my stream key and I'm going to copy it. And now that I've copied my stream key, what I want to do is go into my settings and go into broadcast settings. See, I've already set this before, but let's just reset it. So what you want to do is go to Twitch.tv, and then you want to set 
your server on Twitch to be the one that's closest to you. The one that's closest to me is the one in Los Angeles. And then you paste your stream key in here, which is, that's all you need to do to set up a really basic stream. And the next thing, the next thing, it's very important, is go to encoding. I recommend that you start with a bitrate of around 2,500 if your internet can handle it. If you, if you want to make sure that your internet can handle it, go to speedtest.net. It's a great way to test your internet speeds. If your internet can't handle a bitrate of 2,500, lower it. Um, but if your internet can handle it, keep it around 2,500. The reason for this is, if you are not a partner on Twitch, the people who are watching you don't have the option to change it from source to high to medium to low. So you want to keep your stream around an average bitrate for most people. Because if you start streaming 5,000 bitrate, odds are most people won't be able to download that much and watch your stream. And they, they're going to want to lower it to medium, but they can't because you're not a partner. So keep it, keep it at around an average bitrate, 2,500. And then I also recommend that you do a video resolution of 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second. 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second is pretty good at 2,500 bit rate. That's, that's what I recommend. So, broadcast settings, you set Twitch, you select your server, you paste your stream key, you set your resolution here, you set your frames per second, and you set your bit rate. I also recommend you turn on settings like CBR and CBR padding. These are just quality things that Twitch wants. Like, this is stuff just for optimizations on Twitch's end. And then another thing that you need to do, if, if you haven't done it yet, there'll be red warnings here, but you should go to advanced, and here in the video section, there's a thing called encoding profile. Set that to main, and set your keyframe interval from zero, set that to two. You want to set that to two. So once that's all been set up, the only other thing that you need to do now is worry about audio. So you can get your game audio, you can get your speakers, you can get your microphones, and um, one thing that's really cool is you can tweak the volume of your microphones on the fly with by left clicking and like you can hold left click and then release left click on these red bars. I haven't set a microphone on OBS yet, but OB the microphone follows the same rule. You can left click to raise the bars and lower the red bars. So that's super helpful. If your game audio is too loud and you want to switch it on the fly, you can just lower it a little bit. Boom, perfect. But now let's preview our stream again real quick. Now that we have set the stream key, and we've set the video, and we've set all those settings, we can do start streaming. And now, this broadcast should appear on Twitch TV. So, let's go to our channel. So I'm streaming right now, and let's see if it shows up on our channel. I'm gonna be looking into the webcam, so that way, when the stream is live, we'll know. But let's see, it's loading, it's loading, and there it is. We are live on Twitch TV, so this has been a very super basic guide on how to start streaming on Twitch, and I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. There's a lot more that can be done. There's a lot more complicated stuff that can be added to a Twitch stream, like uh, Twitch alerts and Twitch chat and stuff, but this is a basic guide, and uh, hopefully that helped. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Once again, leave a comment or hit me up on Twitter or something, but yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.